Hey guys, this is Drew with Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be sharing with you coins that we picked up all year during 2023. And now we're going to be offering them to you in this video, sharing them with you, why we love these coins, why we enjoy them so much. We can't wait to show you. Let's get this video started. Many people ask, what do you like to collect? What do you like to look out for, hold back sometimes, and enjoy for a while? And in this video, we're gonna show you a bunch of early type coins, all CEC approved. And we're also gonna show you some better walkers, some better seated halves, some better cat bust halves. We also have some nice dollars and a pretty cool world coin that we wanna show you also. But at the end of 2022, we ended up having a bunch of coins that we had in our personal collection. And then at the beginning of January of 2023, we ended up releasing them to the public. You guys really liked it because it was just a nice group of fresh coins that you could pick from. And now we're going to do that same thing again in this video. So at the beginning of 2023 at the Winter Fun Coin Show, we ended up going to a basketball game with Seth Chandler and his daughter. And we asked him, why do you offer mainly CAC coins? And he basically said, I offer CAC coins in all values you know, from $300 up to a few thousand dollars to tens of thousands of dollars because these coins sell themselves. They're the nicest for the grade, they're extremely beautiful to look at, and they're just really nice pieces of Americana. So as we move into 2024, we are definitely going to be looking out for more coins like this. Like I said, they're just awesome coins to look at, and we hope you enjoy them. But we also have dealer days, wholesale days, whatever you want to call it, going on on our website right now, acousticcollectibles.com. Apart from these coins, all the older coins that we have sitting on our website are now discounted until January 15th. So make sure to go check those out also. Let's show you these coins. All right, guys, the first coin I want to show you in this video is this 1875 Ariel, Great Men's State 63. This is a plate coin for PCGS. This is top pop for them. Gorgeous luster, just a softer strike. I think one of these sold, and it was like dark. Sold for about almost $450 early this year. And this one is just absolutely stunning. Next one is this 1836 lettered edge. Cat plus taff, created XF45, CEC approved, OGH holder, and it has a beaded reverse. Look up what a beta reverse is, and uh, there's about five or six known at PCGS. This one is undesignated, but definitely a tough Overton. Next coin is this 1892 Colombian half dollar, Great Men's State 64, CEC approved. Nice luster on the obverse. On the reverse is where all the money is. Really nice color, nice rainbow look to it. Tough to find these coins in color and especially in a Rattler holder. Here is an 1893S. Barber Quarter, graded XF45. It's all there in terms of originality. It did sticker as well. And look at the reverse, even better in my opinion. And it's a tougher date, especially for the San Francisco Mint. We have this 18... 25 Matron, I believe that's how they say it. Uh, large scent. This one's a tougher date, more expensive than the more common dates, and actually really tough to find, holder or not. This one is an OGH holder, CEC approved. Gorgeous chocolatey surfaces. The reverse is a little bit more nice, in my opinion, than the obverse, but definitely just a phenomenal piece. Then we have this 1839 drapery seated half. Nice dark original surfaces. CEC approved. Love these mid grade coins. Has a little toning on the reverse. Then we have this 1917S reverse mint mark Walking Liberty half. XF45 CEC approved. Once again, the surface is just perfectly original and nice, beautiful mid-grade, and you're not spending a whole lot of crazy money on this coin. Then we have this 1875 CC trade dollar. It's great XF45. 
It's got a chop mark right there on the reverse, right underneath the wing or right on the wing. Nice hidden chop mark. And the surfaces are just beautiful, original. And that's going to be the mantra of this video. It's going to be beautiful and original. Then we have this eight, this 1942 Walking Liberty Half. Gorgeous luster. Probably a 6 plus shot 7. And just a phenomenal coin with a wonderful luster. And CAC also loved this coin. Then we have this 1899O Micro O Morgan Dollar. Definitely a cool VAM if you haven't looked into it. CAC approved, as original as they come. Then we have this 1859O Seated Half Dollar. There's going to be a few of these in this video, but this one is definitely the highest graded one. Gorgeous underlying luster. Nice originality, wonderful detail, and just a cool New Orleans Mint coin before the Civil War. Then we have this 1832, large letters, cap plus taff, great circ cameo on this coin. The circ cameo basically means there's just a big huge disparity between what the fields look like, which is normally dark, and a little bit lighter on the high points. It gives it that nice cameo look. And if you can see, there's a giant die break there, which is a really cool piece of history. That's kind of quite common, I figured out. And uh, definitely pretty neat. Then we have this 1937 Arkansas commemorative half. Almost impossible to find color on these coins, the Arkansas's. And so when we saw this coin, we had to pick it up. Nice array of color, blue, purple, pink, gold. And a little bit of that blue is just cascading on the reverse. Then we have this 1844O, seated half dollar. It's great XF45 by PCGS, CAC approved. Once again, just really nice detail, underlying luster, gorgeous originality. New Orleans Mints were really piquing my interest this year, and we bought a lot of them. Then we have the 1920 Walking Liberty Half, graded XF40, CEC approved. Nice mid-grade, a little bit of a better date also. And you're not, you know, breaking the bank to actually buy this coin. You know, when you were talking about an earlier date in the XF, kind of like, uh, you know, 1916, 1917, you're probably paying four or five hundred bucks. This one's around 200 bucks, so not too bad. Then we have one of my favorites of this video, which is 1837 Reeded Edge, cap plus half. I mean, just look at the beautiful surfaces of this coin. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever, just a little wear, and oh my goodness. It's gonna be tough to put this one in a package, but just phenomenal. Getting stickers on coins like this is very hard, just because so many of them have so many issues. And I think the last two that have sold have just broken the market in a way. And so, love this coin so much. Then we have this 1912S Barber Half, great XF40, CEC approved. Once again, nothing wrong with it. As beautiful as they come for XF40s, it's all there, meat and potatoes. I mean, just look how beautiful this coin is. This is some of my favorite videos to film just because of all these wonderful coins. Then we have another Matrone scent. I believe that's how they what they call it. Or it's just my Ohio, Texas accent. Kind of hard to pick up this coin. But definitely more common than the 25. A lot more detail for me on this coin than the other one on the obverse. But definitely nice, affordable. Also an OGH, also CAC approved. All the bells and whistles. Then we have a pretty cool piece dollar here. This is 18, I'm sorry, 1922. Piece dollar grade mint state 64. Gorgeous rainbow color on the obverse, kind of a terminal tone. And on the reverse, it has some beautiful rainbow rim toning. Then we have this 1838 reeded edge cap plus taff. Little dark, but that's okay. XF40 CAC approved. Little toning on the reverse. 
If it had a, just a little bit more luster, I definitely think it could cross over that XF45 range. Then we have this 1859O seated half, very XF40, CAC approved. Then we have another Walker. This one's a 1943 instead of a 42. Another 66 plus shot 67. Some of the most be some of the best walkers I've handled all year in terms of luster and of detail. Then we have this 1831 cap bust half with really great toning on the obverse and the reverse. You can see kind of a purple blue peeking through. And you're gonna see it a lot more on the reverse. Just phenomenal. Then we have this 1859O, seated half again, XF40, CAC approved. Can't get enough of these seated halves for sure. Then we have a 59S, seated half, great XF40, CAC approved, great detail, and very, very tough to find in San Francisco. And so this one is a little bit more expensive, but definitely pretty neat. Then we have this 1835 cap bust half grade XF40, CEC approved, just a little wear as you can see on the breast and on the cheek and on the forehead. But the circulated cameo is definitely peeking through on this coin. Just a stunning piece of history. Then we have this last 1859.0 seated half dollar grade XF45, the last stunner of this video. Thank you guys for taking a look at the coins that we've held on to this whole year. We hope you enjoyed them. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the coins that we set back. Do you really like these coins? We really love them. Uh, comment your thoughts on uh, what 2024 might bring for you and your collection. And subscribe for more videos like this because we're coming out with them every single week. And we want you to be a part. We'll see you guys in the next video.